Hey Frank, what are we doing today? We are gonna burn out a tank. So we get this question all the time, how do you get the gas out of the propane tank? And my favorite thing, dude, I love it so much. When the comments are so awesome when you start talking about tanks and propane and stuff. Inevitably, there'll be the guy that'll be just like, just open it up, let it blow. You know, that kind of thing, right? The safest gas leak is the one that's on fire because then you know where it's at. To get the gas out of here, there's no, if you look at the gauge here, this gauge right here is how full the tank is. It's gonna show percent. That gauge does not tell you how much pressure is in the tank. That gauge tells you what the liquid level is. Some freaking really smart guy years ago came up with this. There's a different looking, but it's the same gauge. It's a float. See the gear turning right there? Yeah. So so that's a float. And when the, when the liquid level comes up in the tank, that floats until it gets up to like whatever percent, 80%. Just because that gauge says you're at zero does not mean there's not pressure in it. So listen, let's, here's the valve. Let's turn it on. Hear the gas? Mm -hmm. It don't sound like a lot, but it is a lot. There could still be a little bit of liquid that's not showing on the flow, you know, all of these things. So the safest way to get this gas out of there is to hook a burner up to it and light it and let it burn. That way, until the flame goes out, then we know we got all the vapor out. Then we can pop the, the gauge off. Now, turn the valve off. Now over here, this tank has both. Here's our percent gauge. Looks like it's been leaking, it got liquid in it. This is actually a pressure gauge. It's got a needle and it says, you can't read it here, but this is PSI and it says it's almost empty, but I think there's a little. Yeah, we probably got a little more pressure in this tank than we do in that one. So today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna burn both of these tanks off and get the pressure out of it so we can safely pull these valves out. You're gonna need a few things. So the first thing you're gonna need is this stuff here. It's not in a branded bottle, but it is what it is. I buy it by the gallons, but it's, uh, it's actually gas leak detector. Everybody will say, just get you some Dawn and mix it up with water. That's not, it doesn't do the job right. I mean, you got to get the right concentration. Too much soap and it won't show bubbles as fast. Too little soap and it just won't bubble at all. Um, of course, you're going to need some kind of clicker. You know, you're going to need you a good old crescent wrench. This is a, uh, just a traditional, I've, been, I've had this thing for a lot of years. It's just a good old fashioned one of them weed burners that they call it up at, uh, or Texas Match. So I've got two valves when I hook this up. I got the valve on the tank and I got this other valve for safety, right? To shut this off completely. Um, Cause you're not gonna wanna stand here and hold this for a few hours, right? This connection right here is just the old school propane bottle connection. This is what goes on like uh, the barbecue bottles. You know, there's the big plastic one that goes on the outside. This screws to the inside of that and it's a left hand thread. So lefty tidy, righty loosey, it's the opposite, right? This burner is, is uh, zip tied to this piece of conduit with a bend in the bottom of it. The reason I did that is because I've got this pipe vise here. You don't have to have a pipe vise, you just gotta have something that can hold this burner, you know, a good, a good seven or eight feet off the ground the entire time you're doing it. You just tighten her down like that. Now this vise ain't going nowhere and it's gonna hold this thing good for hours and hours. So the other thing is, is no wind direction. You wanna know where the wind's coming from, right? In this case, the wind's kinda of coming from that direction. It does have a tendency to change here once in a while, but I don't want this burner uh, where the, where like if this tank's leaking, that gas can blow at the flame so it can go backwards, you know, towards the tank. I wanna have my flame upwind of the, of the, the tank I'm burning out. So I'm actually gonna move this up just a little bit but it's also gotta be close enough this hose reaches. The, the first thing you wanna do, this is a combination valve. It's got everything on one. It's got the liquid fill. Uh, it's got the fill valve. It's got the withdrawal on it because there'll be a long tube. And uh, you know, it's also got the main connection here. Um, ignore these. These are actually just pipe connections for gauges and stuff. But this right here, it'll only fit if it's the absolute correct thing. Always use your fingers. Tighten that down like that. Now we're gonna get a crisp on. If you have any doubts about what we're doing here, this is not for you. Do not attempt, right? I'm, I'm a trained professional. I've been doing this most of my adult life. Um, I just don't want you to get hurt. So if you're scared of this, don't do it. It's just that simple. You can buy tanks with the valves already out of them. This is, the purpose of this video 
is to keep the guys that uh, that are going to do it anyway, at least to give them something to look at and be safe instead of them guessing, right? This is not a recommendation for you to do this on your own. Um, please like and subscribe to this video. I love you. I don't want you to get hurt. We're going to give this here just a few little bumps like this here, right? Do not over tighten. If you over tighten any kind of a pipe fitting like this, that will sh that will crack because we're going to use gas leak detector to make sure it's tight enough. <clears throat> so the gas leak detector. This is actually a pressure relief. Um, it's holding or there wouldn't still be vapor in here. We're not worried about that. We're worried about this connection here because since there's still pressure in the tank, we know that the tank itself is not leaking until I open this valve. More than likely what's gonna happen, the seat that's in this valve, it's called valve packing. The, the it's almost like a leathery kind of rubber stuff. Uh, the valve packing that's in this, when you loosen this or tighten it, that has been in there for a long time. So it, it could leak there. First off, we're just gonna open and listen hear it it's leaking like crazy somewhere oh see the bubbles those so our, our fitting is leaking but so is this so is this valve so in that case, <laughs> now everything's leaking. <laughs> so I'm just removing this screw that's gonna pop this handle off, right? Now we can identify where the leak is coming from. Sometimes there's nothing you can do about it. See there? That's what it'll look like when, that's why you use actual leak detector is for that purpose. So if you run into this situation, you know, there's not really anything you can do about it. Um, it, is, it is not a safe situation because like, now you have to face a choice. Do I go ahead and light this burner and get the gas out? Or do I just abandon mission? Or do I find another way? Like, what am I gonna do now? So I'm gonna make that decision off camera. And <laughs> we'll go look at this one. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll tell you what I do. This one might even be worse. Think it'll leak? No. You don't? You think it's gonna be good? Yeah. For the sake of getting this video made, you hope it's gonna be good? Uh-huh. Let's hear it. I don't hear anything. Okay. Do you hear anything? I don't hear anything. I don't hear anything either. Let's see. No bubbles. So, I'm gonna move my burner uphill just a little bit to the limit of my hose real quick, and we're gonna light it. So I had to go get a, uh, a better clicker. <laughs> the other one wasn't working. But anyway, so here's what we're gonna do. We're hooked up to our tank, right? We checked for leaks, nothing's leaking. We're gonna slowly open this valve. Anyway, so I've got this valve open. So now what we're doing is we're just going to let that thing burn until it runs out of gas, right? So what we were talking about a while ago on this valve, I told you I was going to decide what to do off camera. Um, so we got that tank burned out, everything's cool there, but uh, this valve is leaking. Can you hear it? Come in here. So. What we're, that's why we got that burner way up in the air like that is because propane sits low on the ground and we won't also want to pay attention to wind direction remember so what i did is i worked this valve out and back in and out and back in with this line hooked up and the and the burner off and what will happen is that packing will get to a spot where you can hear it's it sounds bad but it's really i mean it's a leak don't get me wrong it's a freaking leak but it's not such a huge, we're not pouring like full line pressure out of it. You know, like the, the amount of, there's not a ton of gas coming out of it. 
So to me and my experience, that's enough. I'm safe there. As long as I keep my burner upwind from where the wind's coming, I can go ahead and work this valve back and forth until I find the spot in that packing that's leaking the least. Then I'm gonna go ahead and stand here with my hand on that nozzle on the little thing and let this thing burn out the rest of the way. I know that the valve stem is leaking. I'm a professional, you shouldn't do this, but I'm gonna go ahead and light this burner here. Get it rolling, right? Now we just stay right here. <laughs> Like 8 30 or 9. It's 7.47. The, the significant thing to note is that the gauge, the liquid level gauge, was also bad <laughs> because there was a lot more than a percent or two in there. There was a lot of liquid. So this is crazy, Frank. I got a so Scott has to go home. <laughs> anyway, we uh, I still got a ways to go here, fellas. Um, sometimes the gauge is broke, is all I can tell you. I don't know if that float had a hole in it or what, but you know, it had a lot more liquid in that tank than I thought there was. You run into this kind of thing once in a while, so I'm gonna keep I'm gonna sit here. I can't shut it off because the valve's leaking, so I'm just gonna hang out. I'm just gonna hang out and let that thing run. And uh, whenever it's done blowing blue flame, I'm gonna yank that valve out. Um, what I'll do tomorrow, I'll go ahead and yank the valves out. Um, I'll probably try to catch it with my iPhone because he won't be here. But basically all we gotta do, once the pressure goes down enough to where that flame starts to go out, basically, it'll turn orange and then it'll get real lazy. And when there's no pressure pushing on that, that flame, then we know it's safe to take that valve out. So we'll go ahead and shut the valve off, get the flame put out. And then I got a big old three foot pipe wrench. Sometimes I'll use a cheater bar, whatever, but we'll take that, that big valve out of that tank and uh, you know I'll fill it up with water. Hey guys, make sure and like and subscribe to the channel. I, I appreciate each and every one of you and I wanna give you as much of this kind of content as we possibly can. Um, so just also let me know if you got questions about stuff hit me in the comments. We'll, we'll do videos about them. So anyway, thanks guys. Peace out.